across to Russia now. And the final day of voting in their presidential election is taking place today. Vladimir Putin, of course, set to secure another six years in power through an election that not everybody is terribly impressed with. Uh, yeah. It's fairness. No, well, I mean, he does face three candidates who have voluntarily abstained from criticising him. It's an interesting way of putting it, isn't it? Uh, two anti-war opposition candidates have already been disqualified from the race. And his counterpart in the EU, the European Council President Charles Michel, has already, sarcastically, congratulated President Putin. He took to Twitter saying, no opposition, no freedom, no choice. Well, former advisers of the Clinton and Bush administrations, Steve Gill is at a polling station in Samara in Russia. It's about a thousand kilometres from Moscow or thereabouts. Morning, Steve. What's going on? Because I mean, there have been a number of protests over the weekend. Yeah, nothing really significant. And, and basically, you can see behind this is a polling place in Samara. And polling turnout has been very high, about 80 to 85 percent is what they're predicting at the end of the uh, polling. So people are turning out, despite, as you said, the anticipation, the expectation that Vladimir Putin will win and win handily. I was talking to one of the uh, polling uh, observers earlier today who said that uh, voters are telling them that they are voting not just because they think that it's a close race, but because they want to send a message that they support Putin. And there's a lot of reasons to. They have 2.6% GDP. They have 7% inflation. It was 1,500% when he first took office. And, uh, you know, they're happy with where the economy is. They're happy with his leadership. And one of the voters told me today that by voting, even though they think he's going to win handily, it's like shaking his hand and saying thank you. You're seeing some of the ballots you vote uh, uh, by, by party. Uh, and then you put it into either an electronic counting machine that counts it and then holds it below, or you put it in a transparent box. So there is not only transparency in where the ballots go, but they also have video cameras in every precinct. So anybody in Russia uh, and the political parties and the uh, observers in Moscow can watch in real time, live time, the vote and the count. What are you doing there? I mean, are you there in, in some sort of official capacity to observe? Or is it just because you're curious about this sort of thing? <laughs> well, I am curious because, you know, there's so many people that are opining about this election without actually seeing it and being here. I'm not seeing anybody from CNN or Fox or The Washington Post, but they're, they're declaring uh, opinions about the election. Uh, I'm one of about uh, 100 international election observers. Uh, they're in our group of 10 there's a woman from Bulgaria. There are three from Venezuela. Uh, there's another American. So it's a, it's a diverse group just in our group. And there are groups like this going to polling stations all over Russia. We've been to about 15 polling stations in the last three days. Yeah, Matt, and you look, you make a valid point when you say, well, people are turning up, the, the boxes are transparent, there are cameras everywhere, the electronic voting system seems to be fine. So the result in itself may be valid. The question around whether the election is fair or not is about the pressure applied from the Kremlin and whether people are too frightened to do anything other than vote for Putin. Well, again, they're not going to have their votes revealed. And you just had, uh, back in September... The mayor of Moscow got reelected with 75, 85 percent of the vote because the streets are clean. They're safe. There's buildings going up everywhere. A lot of people have this impression of Russia from you know their visuals of back in the 60s or 70s in the Cold War, where it's these cinder block buildings. Uh, Moscow itself is is as vibrant of a of a skyscraper city that is uh, uh, booming, and I think people are voting what they're seeing and what they're feeling. Uh, not because they're intimidated or being told they have to vote for Vladimir Putin. Fascinating. Oh, that's one of the main reasons you're there officially observing. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thank you, guys. Always good to talk with you.